Hi everyone, this is Miss Lily. Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to learn how to draw faces of people. There are a lot of different ways to draw faces. Different artists do different things. But today I hope to share how I draw and what I find the easiest. I hope that you try this and also try other people's methods to discover what works the best for you. You need a piece of paper, pencil, and an eraser. Let's go! Step 1. Rough Draft Start with a rough draft by drawing lightly. Draw an oval to get the size of the head that you want. It's okay if it's not perfectly symmetrical. Don't aim for perfect oval shape either, but instead pay attention to the overall size. Draw a vertical line down at the middle of the face. Draw a horizontal line for the eye level. It should be just a little bit higher than halfway of the oval. Between the side of the face and the center line, mark a small dot to position where the eyes are going to be at. Halfway between the intersection of the cross and the chin, mark where you are going to draw the nose. This would be the bottom of the nose, by the way. Halfway between the nose mark and the chin, mark where the mouth is going to be. Put your pencil down and clap! This is to give yourself a high five because you're done with the rough draft. Step 2. Eyes, nose, lips. Take out your model reference photo. You are free to draw the face feature in your preferred style or you can follow the style I am doing. I always start with the top eyelids. The top eyelid help define the width of the eye. Check if they are somewhat symmetrical by comparing their distances from the center line. Always use the center line to check all of the following face features to see if they are somewhat symmetrical. Again, I'm aiming for somewhat symmetrical. I am not aiming for perfection here, just trying to get close enough so that it looks pleasant. Draw both irises and then the lower eyelids. They help define the height of the eye. Draw the bottom of the nose. Basically, I try my best to get the curve of the nose bottom and then try to mimic the shape of her nostrils. Then you can lightly draw both sides of the nose. For the mouth, you can mark a dot on either side of the mouth to get the width of the mouth. Then draw a line to connect the two dots. If the mouth is closed, you only need one line like right now. But if the mouth is open, like this one, you will need another line at the top. For this girl, her mouth is just slightly open around the center. Draw the little curve at the upper lips. Pay attention to how far it is from the bottom of the mouth below. Then draw the slope on both sides. This is the cupid bow. Draw both sides of the lower lips. Then connect them with a subtle curve. Option, you can erase parts of the lips or mouth to make it look like a highlight. Step 3. Detailing the eyes. Draw the pupils. Usually, the upper eyelids create a shadow inside the eyeball, so I shade dark to light starting from the top downward. If your person has a double eyelid, go ahead and draw a line above the eye for the crease. It should be very close to the eye. Thicken and darken the upper eyelids because they usually represent a shadow. The eye makeup, the lashes, or all of the above. Go ahead and define the shape of the eyebrows. I usually start with the part where it's closer to the nose. Once you are happy with the shape, then make them darker if you want. 
If you make them dark right at the beginning, it will be more difficult to erase later. Step 4. Headline and face shape. When drawing the shape of the face, I like to imagine this is like sculpting. I have a big chunk of oval and now I'm going to cut and trim it into the shape I want. Observe the distance between the eyes and the hairline. Draw the hairline at the top and then the temple areas. I divide the sides of the face into three parts. First part is near the eyes. Second part is near the cheeks. Third part is the sides next to the chin. Lastly, draw the chin by connecting the face with a curve at the bottom. The reason why I divide drawing the sides of the face into these three steps is because if you draw this in one single stroke, then most likely it's going to be very asymmetric. Drawing both sides will give yourself the opportunity to constantly check if they are somewhat symmetrical. Step 5. Ear and hair. Draw the ear. The top of the ear should align at the same level as the eyes. I draw my ears like a stretched out letter C and then with a little curve inside. We can see where the hair splits at the top. That's where we'll start drawing the hair. Just remember that you draw the hair the same way it grows. Put your pencil down and give yourself a high five. Good job for finishing the line work. So you can stop here if you just want to do the line work of a person. But for this tutorial, I am going to move on and teach you how I do the shading on the face. Step 6. Shading on the face. Let's start shading! First, I look at the reference photo and ask myself, what are the areas with the most obvious shadows? And here my answer is, underneath the eyebrow next to the nose, underneath the lips, under the nose, under the chin, and this right side of the face here has more shadow, a bit on both sides of the temples, a little bit on the right side of the throat area, and on either sides of the neck. When shading, I usually start with the darkest areas. I recommend keeping the pencil pressure soft. Instead of going dark right away, shade softly and lightly with multiple layers to get the darkness that you want. A lot of my shadings are really subtle because I am hoping for a cleaner shading style for my model's face to look more soft and delicate. Shade the darkest part of the hair than the rest of the hair. Remember to draw these lines the same direction as how the hair would grow. Step 7. Finalize. Basically what I like to do to finalize is to make certain parts darker to make the drawing pop out more and less dull. Add a little bit of shading on the lips, at the top of the lower lips, and then on either side of the upper lips. I like to darken the eyebrows Darken the darkest parts of the eyes, eyelids, and the lashes. Darken the lines of the mouth opening. Darken the bottom and the right sides of the chin. Darken the darkest area of the hairline and temples. Add shadings on the ears. and darken the shading on the hair. If your outline seems a little fuzzy, I would come back and trace it again. 
but don't make it too much of a dark outline. Try to make it seem like it's part of the shading. Finally, you can take your eraser and press on areas where you like to have highlights on. Congratulations for finishing drawing this face with me. Thank you for your energy and time spent with me to draw this face and let me share my method with you. If you have any thoughts or comments, questions, feel free to make comments down below at the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.